Hello everybody, I'm Mrs. Langan and I'm here today to talk about the first problem of the week which is the counting shapes. So if you notice up here there is a big triangle and then there's some lines through that triangle and in these counting shape kind of questions they will always ask you how many of the shapes there are. In this case it says how many triangles are in the following diagram. Hmm. So you have to count all the triangles. Now let's, some of you may say, well, there's one triangle. Yes, there is that one big triangle, but there's more than that. Can you see any others? Did you see at least another one or two? Let's see, I see one right here, and I see one right here. Hmm, so that's one, two, three. Now, before we go any further, remember that a triangle has three sides. So make sure that all your shapes have three sides. Is this a triangle right here? If I was to trace over here, let's see. One, two, three, four. No, that's not a triangle, so you can't count that. How about this one? One, two, three, four. That's not a triangle, so you can't count that. Is this a triangle? One, two, three. Yes, it is, so you can count that. One, two, three. That's a triangle, too. And one, two, three. So that's three triangles so far, but there's actually more. And rather than just sort of trying to find them and then forget which ones you've counted before, there's actually a way you can do this. And it's a way using this table over here. And you're go well, I'm going to teach you how to use that table and how to organize your information. And then you'll know for sure, or almost for sure, that you've got all the triangles and you haven't forgotten one. So the very first thing that you can do so that you don't forget things is let's label this. And when you label it, you label it with a letter or a number or a color. And what we're going to do is label today with a letter. And we're going to name each of these regions or the spaces, we'll call those regions, we're going to label them with capital letters. And we use capital letters just like your name. When you spell your name, the first letter is always capital. So we're going to use a capital just the same way here because this is the name of this space or region. So call that A. The next letter in the alphabet is B, so we're going to call that B. Next letter is C, and the next letter is D. So I've labeled all the regions, they all have names. Now, we're going to go and we're going to figure out, hmm, some triangles have one letter in them. See that triangle? This triangle has one letter in it. This space is not a triangle, as we showed before, so it's not a triangle letter, it's not a region. But notice that big one that you said, it has all the letters in it. So it's an A, B, C, D, it has four letters in it. This one only had one letter, and this one only had one letter, okay? So we're going to go and, and classify, when we say classify, we're going to organize and group these so that they have one letter, or maybe two letters, maybe three letters, maybe four letters. The maximum is four letters, because that's all we used. So let's go over to the chart, and I'm going to explain how to use this table. So if you see it, if the camera can just come in here, come on over, and let's get really close to this table so you can see what it says. Notice it says a number of letters, and I just showed you that some have one letter, some may even have two. We have to see if we can find a two-letter triangle. Some may even have three letters, and the biggest will have four possible, okay, because there's four letters. So that's as big as you can get. So let's now, the triangle names means that you have to tell me if it has one letter, what is the name of that triangle? And remember, we named the triangles according to the letters, okay? So let's do, look at the triangles that have one, only one letter in it. This is one triangle, so that is A. 
This is another triangle, so that is B. This is not a triangle, so we can't name that one. And we can't, this is not a triangle. So the only triangles that have only one letter are A and B. So let's come on over here. And we're going to write the names of those triangles. A is the first triangle, comma, because now we have a new triangle, which is B. Okay, so there are one, two. So that's a number of triangles with only one letter in it. And these are the names of those triangles. Let's go now to see if there are any triangles that have two letters in it. Come on back here. Okay, so you've got two letters. Let's start with A. Let's do AB. Is that a triangle? Hmm, AB. If we looked at this and we traced around, let's go down. One, two, three. And you don't show this middle one, it's just the outside. Is the, does the outside make a triangle with those two letters? Yes. So AB is the first two-letter triangle. Let's write that down over here. Notice I'm putting A, B, and then I put a comma after it because it's together. Now let's see if an, another triangle can be made using A, the letter A. So with two letters. I already did AB, so let's try AC. Does that make a triangle on the outside? You don't look at this little line in here. But on the outside, you have one, two, three. <gasps> three sides? Yes, AC a is a triangle. So you call that AC. Can you see any other triangles that have two letters? I can. Let's see, we have a B, so let's try B with other letters. B, A, oh, we already did A, B, we already did this triangle, so that's the same triangle. We don't name it again. But B, D, look at this, one, two, three, all around the outside, one, two, three. That's a triangle. So I'm going to draw that with, I'm just going to take another color here and so you can see, one, two, there is one big triangle, and that triangle name is BD. So you write BD over here. That's the last one. Oh, <coughs> let's just try. Let me, we don't know if it's the last one. Let's go back and see. We just, so we did A, we did B, now we did C. We already did CA. How about CD? Is that a triangle? Let's count the number of, of sides. One, two, three, four. Four. No, that's not a triangle. So we can't say CD is a big triangle. No. All right. So these are all the triangles that we've got. And, and D we already used with B and, and C and D we already used. So there's three of them here. So let's call, let's write down. There are three triangles that have two letters. Are there any triangles that have three letters? Let's go and see. Let's try that first of all with A. So if we did A, B, and C, is that a triangle? No, because that makes a funny looking one. And let's, let's just draw that one out for you. That is a funny looking shape, but it's not a triangle. So you go A all around all these areas, and that's what it gives you. And that is not a triangle, <laughs> okay? So that you, you don't have one A, C, and B. Can we do A, D, and B? Is that a triangle? No, if again, is a funny one. So it's one, two, three, four, five sides. With the B, you can't make a triangle with B, with three letters, or C or D, okay? So there's no three-letter triangles for this picture. So we're going to write just a blank so, or a line through it to show that there aren't any and there's zero over here and are there any is there a triangle that has four letters yes there is remember right to begin with let's just draw that big triangle again so you've got one two three all around the outside and that gives you the triangle a b c d so let's write that down a b c D, and there's only one. So now what you do is you add them up. Two plus three is five. Five plus nothing is still five. So five plus one is six. And there's your total. So there are six triangles in that picture. Wow. <laughs>
Isn't that neat? Now you go back and see if you can find out how many triangles are in all the other ones that are given to you. Thank you and have fun.